essentially the ultimate desire of the body is to just sleep. The body just wants to sleep and do nothing. Anytime that you want to do something, you want to learn, or you want to go exercise, you want to go on a run, anything like that, that's the soul. That's the soul speaking. The soul wants this, I want to do something. I want to accomplish something. The body's like, no, let's just stay in bed. You know, let's just eat a, eat a pizza and watch some TV and do nothing. That's all the body. The body wants sleep, food, comfort, and basically excuses. And the soul wants greatness, understanding, accomplishments, body meaning. Body wants sex too, right? Both do. Both, obviously the body wants sex, but also the soul does too. It, it's, it, it's sex is, it, I mean this is a kind of more of a complicated subject, but sex isn't something that's 100% physical. Different purposes, different ones, right? Yeah. So there's some things that are both spiritual and physical. So you know, obviously we bring, we say prayers before and after we eat, because we're trying to blend our bodily desires into something spiritual. So everything that we do is not always just body or just soul. Pretty much everything's always a blend. So which one goes for uh, the preference of chocolate versus vanilla? Body or soul? <laughs> that would, I guess that would be body, because that's not, uh, that's not really, uh, I mean, even a, an animal would make that same choice, like I said before. So that's not really something that our, our, our specific soul has to choose. Yeah. Could it be, though? I mean, if you know your friend wants chocolate, so it'd be like, like a higher thing, all right, I'll let him have the chocolate, you know, like I'm doing, like I'm thinking of others. You mean if there's only like a certain amount available of chocolate? Yeah, there's like in the picture, there's one chocolate, there's one vanilla. All right, so we have one chocolate. So yeah, that could be, <laughs> there could be, if there's only enough chocolate and you want to give some to your friend, yeah, it could be, that could also be an element of choice, of, of expressing your free will. Because I could have taken it for myself, that's what I want, right? Or if my soul wants to attain something great, Right? I want to make my friend happy, right? So, yeah. So it depends. I'm just saying, when I mean vanilla chocolate, I mean you just go into a store and I pick vanilla or chocolate. It's not that you free will. Well, there is a case where pick chick, like also, if, let's say one's fat free and mm -hmm. one's not, and you're on a diet. You're on a diet, but you're like, I like chocolate and I know it tastes a little bit better, so I'm not going to get the fat free vanilla. But if you choose the fat free vanilla, you're choosing life. Because you're on a diet. If you're not on a diet, you're not worried about it, and you know, let's say once a week you have a scoop of ice cream, not necessarily that you're choosing death. It's you know it's part of your habit. I wouldn't say that's necessarily uh, a choice. So when this is apparent, when you know like if you when you know when you're making you're choosing between your body and your soul, it's easier for you to know which direction to go. So if you never know if I'm like when you're choosing life and death, why would you? choose life in the future. You're just going to choose whatever you feel like doing. So you have to understand the conflict between the body and the soul in order to make the right decisions in the future and have a, future and have a healthy habit. Um, when you're not clear on this conflict, and you can't tell, like, what's really me? What, am I, what does my body want? What does my soul want? I don't really know which ones. I want to sleep. You know, I want to eat. You know, I, I don't know. I, I want to do it. When you, don't, when you blend the body and soul together, you're losing your ability for, for free will and you're doing what you feel like, but not what you really want to do. So the next level is aligning yourself, aligning yourself with the soul. And this is, this is really important. I, mean, I know that the third one is really important. Um, because it is, I probably would say actually level three, if you had to pick how far to go, I'd say at least get up to this level, this is like the next step. If you want to like really better yourself, you get to level four. Um, the first three, I think, in my opinion, are absolutely necessary. Now you have to align yourself with the soul. Now what does that mean? It means that, like I said earlier, when you're saying I and my body, when you say every choice that you make, you say my body and I, and you do everything that you want to do as a soul, that's aligning yourself with the soul. So let's say you want to start working out, right? But it's really hard for you because your body will come up with a million excuses. I've gone through this for the past five years. I've always wanted to run, right? And it's been really hard for me. My body makes excuses. You know, I don't feel like it. I'm tired. It's too late. It's too hot out. It's too cold out. My shoes are wet. My feet hurt. Anything. My body comes up with any excuse possible. So what did I do this year? I decided, you know what, I'm going to start running. 
And I started running like, you know, maybe like seven minutes. Not that long. I did something. It wasn't like a great run. I ran for seven minutes. Then eventually I started running a little bit more. And every time I ran, I would push myself a little bit more. But the best time that I saw my soul overpower my body, and I aligned myself with my soul, was when I, I was running up to the Alpha Gate. And I got there, and I was going to normally I'd go back. Because, you know, my body's like, you know, don't run too much. Because this is boring and you hate it. So stop running. So I got to the Alpha Gate, and I'm like, you know what? Why don't I just run to the Tahnagar Kazi? You know, and then I'll just walk back. You know, it's a big deal. So my body followed, right? And I ran all the way to the Tahnagar Kazi, which was like, well, you know, I, I can't believe I actually did that, like, spontaneously. But what happened? I started running more and more. I started running two, three times a week. And eventually, my body loved running. I loved running. It was still hard for me to do it, and sometimes still hard to motivate myself, but my body, I could tell, wanted it. So what happened? I aligned myself with my soul, and the body followed. But can you do it the other way around? If you align yourself with the body, will your soul follow? You say yes? How? <laughs> it can't. If you sit in the, if you, if your body says,